watch yourself idiot riding tailgating two Harley riders. I mean, literally, he's right on her butt. Oh, I did not want to watch an accident today. Well, that's what buttholes do to us. Yeah, that's exactly what that guy's doing to them. Right on their butt, slamming his brakes on. And he's got a cover yeah. over his license plate, so you can't make it out. Because it's not legal when he's driving. That's why the other guy's right on his bumper. He's illegally driving. And he's tailgating people. Trying to pass people in corners. Don't people realize today everyone has cameras? I forgot the windshield wiper. Probably didn't see anything on that one. Oh, we got a passing lane, so. Oh! Really? You're gonna pass them on the fucking right? Oh my fucking god. Oh, and then he fucking zipped right back out. Holy Jesus. And Jesus Christ. Oh, he almost hit her. Mother. Mm, I won't say it. He almost hit her. He tried to pass her on the right and then cut right back to the left when she was going to pass. Holy Christ. I don't care what people say. People with four wheels, they're crazy. They think they own the road. They all think they're race car drivers. And that guy doesn't even have a license plate. That means no ownership, no insurance, and he almost caused an accident. I'm surprised her husband hasn't done something by now. Jesus. Kidding me. And now we can't see. I got on video. Turned past her on the right. She went to go past me. Cut right in front of her. Yep. He didn't have one. <laughs> Frick. 
The other guy did though. The other guy did, and he was driving so damn close he couldn't see one anyways. Even if he did have one, and he had a cover on it. Well, if you're trying to drive a car illegally and get it home, tailgating, cutting people off, passing on the corner is not going to get you home properly. No, it isn't. That's kind of freaking stupid. Okay. We'll oh. catch you later. I wonder when we're driving with people video tables. I don't know. I know a lot of people look up my bike and either they love it or they hate it. It's kind of weird with the 4 v Either, oh man, that's cooler. Ugh. <laughs> that's all I get, man. God, that's cooler. Ew. It's like, really? Really, guys? <laughs> oh, with this really? tank. <clears throat> I could go further. <laughs> Won't be always going, okay, where's the next gas station? Because I got 20 clicks and then I'm done. <laughs> See? Hey, wave, dude. The distance between those two is what I drive with you, but the camera never picks it up properly. It always makes it look like I'm like tying, like way 8, back. 8,000 miles behind yeah, me. Yeah, it's the same distance that I drive. With you. Yeah, I always looks like you're a thousand miles behind me. No, I, it's the same damn distance. Huh. Well, I'll get my stuff today. I will paint the tank tomorrow, and hopefully, if I have all day of being able to work, I'll be back up and running in a couple of days. Even though that giant wire turd I got under the tank, I gotta figure out what to do with that. It literally looks like a giant turd sitting in the tank. That wiring harness. Ugh. See, if Harley put the, just put the coil on the engine, like the coil relocation from the factory, they could have put like a plastic thing in front of the first cylinder, you know, the front cylinder, yeah. and all the wiring harness could, they could have put it just there. Out of the way, like where the coil pack is now. Oh, which drink? Oh, cool, tricky. No, why does it really do that? Instead of that ungodly plastic thing underneath the backbone, they could just relocate the coil and leave it there from the factory. And stick all the wiring harness in underneath in the front where they put the coil. Easier to get to. Easier to unhook wires. I counted 30 twist ties I had to take off that plastic thing. 30. That was like, are you kidding me? No wonder it, no wonder it costs so much money when they have to do so. They gotta take all those twist ties off and then they have to put them back on. Park, and this is one of my favorite places in the world. We're in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario right now, dodging goose poop, <laughs> going down to the water, because I want to show you guys why this is one of my favorite places. Well, it's like goose poop. <laughs> that is a Great Lakes tanker. This is the St. Mary's River. We are on uh, Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Over on that side is Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And that's a Canada American goose. <laughs> Can-Am goose. Can-Am goose. <laughs> See, there's the Great Lakes tanker. That's Topsail Island over there. The little boat on the over on the far side, that is the Sugar Island Ferry. 
There's no bridge there because of the tanker traffic. And the Can Am Goose. And in the Can Am Goose. That big long building uh, is Edison Electric. That is one of the original hydroelectric uh, stations in Sioux, Sioux, Michigan, for all of Michigan. Yeah, at the time. At the time. And in the back is the International Bridge. That water is high. Yeah, it is. Oh, I've never seen it that high before. Unless they cut the banks back. No. Those are the same breakers. Wow, that's like four feet higher than normal. Yeah. Literally like four feet higher than normal. Wow, that's a lot of water. It's never like that before. There's the sailboat marina over there. Man. Yes. I never remember it being this bad. Yeah. We used to come down here every day just to watch the tankers go by. Yeah, bring the kids when they were in diapers. Like yeah, the Sioux Locks are down there with the International Bridge. Like you. You're not gonna let me pass. Like I'll just walk it's past be it. Like Gandalf. You're so <laughs> No, you just walk past. It'll leave you alone. Oh, that's a big dog. <laughs> oh, that's a Saint Bernard. Oh, it'll just walk past. I'll leave you alone. Yeah. You know what my luck is, eh? <laughs> Christ, it's See, it's moving. It's bigger than me. That's a 45 pound dog. Don't mess with me. I got attacked by one of those when I was a kid. Yeah, and I got claws and really big teeth. <laughs> Super, super, super big. Last time we came here, the fish were smaller. Or, the water was really yeah. Oh, yeah. I remember that log. There was no water there. The kids were actually playing in there. Yeah, I remember that too. Well, can't tell you we don't have water now. <laughs> Look, trees underwater. Yep. I was never underwater. Never. Wow. They must have opened several of the dams. Maybe. Back home in Goose Blue. It's always going to be home to me. Oh, I know. Yeah, his grave is over that way. It's right over there. No, uh, I'm too busy playing football with Cindy. <laughs> See, there's the, the historical marker. Hey. His grave's over here. Yeah, at one point in time, this was all one big estate that was donated to the city. Oh, look how... That over there is a government um, marina. Wow. And over there is a motor cove. Don't start. Yeah, motor cove. Okay, that's a good thing to get here. <laughs> I 
here? I don't know. I've never seen it that high. How long did we live here? 18 years. I've never seen it that high. Or 16 years. You could walk all the way over there. Oh yeah. There's some of us down there. Yep. Natural wetland. Nesting site. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, it's good for the waterfowl. All the extra water. They're not all fighting. Like the last time we were here. Oh, fuck. Don't pay attention, huh? Hey, baby. right there too. Yep. First gossip. There's a couple over there. Wow. That's pretty good camouflage. Yeah. It is. See there's the grass. Where? Oh, it's Colonel John Prince. Right here, see? Okay. Pay your respects. Didn't have to donate all this. Yeah. Didn't have to. Mortal remains of Colonel John Prince. First judge of this district of Algoma, born March 12, 1796, at Hefford, England. No, died November 30th, 1870. Uh, at his residence, can't read that because of the little chain. Well, we can walk over. It's not poison or anything. <laughs> At his residence on the mainland, opposite this island, were at his own request here deposited the memory of just is blessed. Original stone in Sault Ste. Marie Museum replaced replacement uh, erected by the Heritage Sault Ste. Marie in 1994. My family is probably around the same time. Around here, okay. Yeah. Yep. I'm a southern Ontario boy. So sure. <laughs> yes, I am originally from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. This is the duck pond. Not a lot of ducks in here right now. I only got all kicked out by the geese. Yeah. There's one right there. Is it? Oh, you don't he was camouflaged. Oh, there's two of them there. There's two of them. <clears throat> yeah, but I can't see much food in there. Not right now. There used to be fish in there. Used to be. This time, it literally grabbed my hat and took off. I know, I remember, I was there. <laughs> Usually, there's a lot more people. Eh? Yeah, there is. <coughs> Actually, it's kind of cool. I'll tell you, Mister. Usually, you're getting bumped into and banged into, and you want to look at something too. Uh, Right there. Oh, hi. That's a female. 
cat is. Where's your baby? Oh. No, don't eat those berries. I think they can. Oh, there is fish now. Look. Oh, there are more. Oh, cards. No way to go for instance. Oh, probably not. Yeah, they're minnows. Quite a few of them, too. They're all heading towards. They're not all minnows. Look at them right down. Where? Right down. Straight oh. down. I can't tell. Ew. GoPro's not picking that up, I guarantee it. Could be bass. Nope. I think the suckers have oh, up a lot of them. See, now it's flowing back in. Oh, that is just weird. Oh, hold on a sec. Those are... Oh, oh the water's going too fast. Those are, um... Oh, I can't tell now. Water's going too fast. I think they're sunfish. They gotta be some fish. But they're, uh, what do you call those? Front fins? Yeah. Look like suckers. But side view, that is not a sucker. Male and two females. Don't worry. Not gonna cause trouble, guys. Well, they definitely get a workout. Maybe. Mm -hmm. Only here you could get this close, this much wildlife. Only yeah. here. Yeah. They used to have a petting zoo. They had bison and arctic foxes and deer and... Mm -hmm. I took that out a long time ago. Yep. Great white buffalo? The great white buffalo. Uh, I had to put a Nugent thing in there. Too. Yeah. Michigan's right there, man. <laughs> I had to put the great white buffalo in there. And hit the people in the head. See, it's all stagnant on this side. Oh. Mosquitoes. Yeah, you know, those are those are these geese. Why would they want why would the geese want to go anywhere near that? I don't know. There's a lot of geese there. Oh, maybe the shade? No? He's actually drinking out of that. Look. Maybe they got a special, uh, what's that word? Enzyme? Yeah. If we drink that, we drop dead, man. Literally. We get severely sick. Watch it, this one's getting. He's eyeballing me. He's eyeballing me. Back off. Back off. There's always that one. Oh, of course. There's always that one. It does the tough, tough boy thing. <coughs> and the wonderfully amazing, beautiful, and dangerous seagull. 
Oh, jeez, you mean rats with wings? Yep. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> that was like, don't leave me in that place. God, those McDonald's are good, eh? <laughs> <laughs> You're so bad. Can we have one day to have a song? That's why I didn't want the kids coming. One. You wanted to bring them, and I said no. So 18 years ago today, yes. we were melting our asses off in the church. Yeah, City Bible Church, Queen Street, to St. Marie. I don't have my metal hair anymore. Man. No. It's like down to my foot. Well, that was your walking tour of Bellevue Park. There, it's quite quite bigger than what we showed you, but Goose Poop City. Goose Poop City. So I'll give another update later. Bye. We're on our way home, and there is a Something huge happened. accident. Not exactly sure what's going on here, but uh, this was just construction on our way here. But I've seen. Looks like there's about five or six cop cars. Yeah, five or six. Told you it must have been an accident. Told you. Told you. They don't have that many cop cars if there's not an accident. One, two. Three. Four that I can see. Damn. I told you. All those vehicles together it must have been an accident and it looks like I was right. And it's right on the passing lane too. Oh, right at the end of our passing lane. Yeah. Oh, geez. Hmm. Want to surmise what happened? Oh, what people do to me on my bike every time yeah. I go on the bike? People. Right at the end of the passing lane, they decide to fly by me and almost put me on the shoulder every time. Every time. Man. Every time. I can see a car, a black car, and it's total. Jeez, I'm surprised it's not red. <clears throat> I've had a nightmare of red cars trying to kill me this year on the bike. Freaking nightmare. It's at the end of the passing line, so you can assume what happened. Yeah. Oh, like that. What that bonehead almost did to the girl on the Harley earlier yeah. going to the zoo. He cut her right off. Surprised her husband didn't <clears throat> catch up to him. And <clears throat> <laughs> Conclusion. That is totaled. Freaking totaled. Oh my god. Whew. See? You wanted to go on the bikes today. That could have been us. Oh. This guy behind me is tailgating. Well, oh. Yeah, if you see a head on collision. Cars totaled. People probably die. And someone's tailgating us, as usual. That's Northern Ontario for you. Yeah. And you wanted to drive today. <laughs> <laughs>